Hi, this is Rob with part three, Longevity Learning Labs. We're making that motorized turntable. Now what we did on part one and two was show you what I was gonna be making, and then I would modify it because even I put like prototype on our chalkboard. But we got our, our tabletop, well the table base anyway, with the sprocket put on it, and our, our um, axle. And so now today we're going to go ahead and we're going to cover the top of this and make our regular table top where we can anchor our work on it and stuff like that. Just series of some holes I'm going to drill and you can bolt them down to thread it. And then we're also going to make the, the, for our base of the table, we're going to go ahead and make the top for that so we, are, we can anchor it onto it so it's nice and sturdy. But before I do that, I'm going to take my plasma cutter because I don't like the way this rim is a little bit, this, this uh, depth right there, I don't like that depth. So I'm going to take the plasma and just cut that off, make it a little bit flatter, and uh, that way we're not wobbling on us when it's, when it's turning. So let me get my plasma set up, and uh, we'll be right back. Okay, pretty much what we're going to do is the bird's eye view again. We're looking down at the table. We're going to be making... This part here, this is a tubing that's going to be the anchor for the table. And we're going to make it so on the table itself, when you close in that vice part of it, you can take it up and move it if you want, and put it someplace else. So that axle, we're going to end up cutting some. And then we're going to need to get some bearings. And for both sides, otherwise it's going to move on you. You've got to have bearings. And so what we're also what we're making here for the top of the table, is or the, the turntable, is these the bars going across right and I'm making it out of one inch tubing so down the road if we ever wanted to we can extend it out farther like that and then we'll be drilling the holes because these holes will help me anchor whatever I'm putting on the table but we'll get we'll get to this part later the main thing we're going to be doing is is building this and building that right there and popping the holes with our plasma Here's our rim that's going to be the base of our tabletop. Now I've got to cut all this off through here, this ring, because it's just too deep for me. I don't like that, that distance right through here. So I'm just going to cut it right through here where this, uh, this corner is it at. And, uh, but since I got to come in there too close with the, the plasma cutter, I took that little guard off. And uh, you know, I don't necessarily recommend it if you don't have that much experience with it, because you got to remember, you can't keep that touching you got to you got to keep a nice even even cut on there otherwise you'll lose your arc and then you'll mess up your tip and you don't want to do that if you don't have to so let me go ahead and see how this is going on for me and get my ground cable and here we go See, and a good thing about that is that I'm using this edge as a guide as I come along. And I can just turn it as I go. Make sure it doesn't fall off the table. should just fall right off here. And I'll go ahead and I'll do that all the way around and then I will clean it up. Gotta make sure we don't burn our table up. Just 
just like that. And then we'll go ahead and we'll, we'll clean all this up. Okay, now we got the top of our hub again and our, our rim. And what I did, I put little tabs on here. So when I put that cross piece on, it gives me something to weld onto. And uh, all I did was just take a piece of square stock and so it goes across all the way like that. And I just clamped it. So then I know that when I tack that little bracket on there, it's nice and flush across the top. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna change up a little bit here. That's why I gave myself some of those tabs so I got something I can weld onto right here. And then I grind them off and make them look nicer. And then I'm gonna go ahead and use the tubing here. Now the reason why I put the channel here is it just seemed a little, little bit uh, um, sturdier for me. It just wider this way. And so now I'm gonna go ahead and tack this down and tack this all together and weld it in place. And then we're, we're done for this right now because I'm not gonna bother popping the holes or anything right away. And I, we make sure it's centered and all that. So let me go ahead and tack this on here. Let me get one on there, we'll find a clamp. Okay, make sure it's all nice and centered. And then I'll make sure I keep it nice and centered. So I'll go ahead and split the difference here and there. Pretty close. Yeah, no rocket, it's nice, it fit pretty good. Okay, let's tack this on here. Oop, gotta reset my machine. There we go. That helps. The thing is, when you have the plasma and a welder together, you kind of forget. On the other side. There, and so far so good. Then I'll do the same thing. These are already cut to size, so I just have to make sure that I'm, oop, that I'm flush right through here. And I also try to make sure that when I need to get to these uh, bolts again, I can reach them. So this is tacked up pretty good. Let me get the last one. This is really pretty much, you're gonna eyeball it. Pretty straight. Okay, and I'll, I'll end up finishing this up and then I'm gonna trim it so we're equal here. And that way it just looks nicer. And uh, we should be good and flat and no twists. So we're coming along. I'm gonna weld this up and then we'll start on the main, the main base. Okay, well, we got this part done. So that's crossed off. All I have to really do now is just drill the holes. I'm gonna trim this off a little bit so they're even. And so uh, that's nice and sturdy. That's not gonna go anywhere. And uh, didn't, get, didn't really get to get to the, uh, the other part right now, but I'm gonna do that right in the first episode or the, the next episode. And because that's going to be a little faster. This took a little longer, but because uh, of arc welding. But, you know, I wanted to use the wire, wire feed or the TIG, but it would have taken, it would have looked nicer, but I just didn't want to take the time and deal with it. That's a good thing about having all these versatile machines around here. That innovator, the 255i, man, that's, it's really nice. Anyway, uh, I'll see you for the next episode of Longevity Learning Lab on my motorized turntable. I'm Rob, and we'll see you next time.